everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is Chuckle and Zook, and this is your remix full body dumbbell workout. Remix Monday is where I'm taking one of my old workouts from when I very first started the YouTube channel, and I am recreating it here in this space. So we're taking one that Jacqueline actually did with me way back in 2015, full body dumbbell. It's a super popular video. Many of you have found this channel through that and we're gonna do it again and see if we can keep up with our 2015 selves. Oh, we can keep up. We totally can. We've had four kids between us since that workout, so we know we are strong, we can handle it. That's right. All right, all you need is a set of dumbbells and a mat. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's start just by getting a little warm up. The first thing I'll tell you is that we're gonna do more of a warm up than we did in 2015. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, I kept it super short. We're also gonna do some intervals because we mostly, I think I was counting reps, but we were just boom, 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 going one thing to the next. So we're actually gonna do intervals. Most everything today will be a 30 second interval. And let's take it back a little bit bigger where we will build, right? So you know I love these workouts where we start with one thing and then we do another and then we put them together or we're adding on. So I will of course give you lots of options and remind you to be where you are today. Let's open up those arms nice and wide. Look how much space we have <laughs> compared to when we did it in 2015 in that tiny first studio that we were in. Let's add a little side lunge to it. Out and in. <laughs> so, Jacqueline has a one-year-old and a three-year-old. I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. So, fun fact about that very first workout that we did, I was newly pregnant, but I hadn't told anybody. Let's stretch it out right here. I knew. So, <laughs> Jacqueline knew, and that's why she was doing the workout, because I was so sick. I mean, I was sick the whole well, time, right? Also, I was like, you can't have your back, you can't. That's right, so that's right. <laughs> so Jack came in to do all of the hard stuff. Let's take it flat back down. And let me have a little bit of a break in that workout, but we still both worked pretty hard. You did, actually. Um, we modified it. <laughs> so, but people always comment in about what a beast Jacqueline is. What a badass she is, pardon my language. Hopefully your kids aren't watching. Um, and she still is, even after two babies. So, we're gonna get it done again today. Let's take it with a little squat and a hinge. So take it here, squat it down, hands behind your head, hinge it here, right here. And sit, and hinge. I am so sore from the workout I filmed yesterday. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna feel better. Whew. Take it down. Let's go two more of each. Sitting low. And then let's hold this one down, hands on top of the legs. We're just gonna do a little standing cat cow. Maybe your back is feeling pretty tight like mine, especially from holding toddlers and kids all day. And then if you can, take your hands down on the ground, little pedal of your feet. And let's turn this way, why not? Towards you? Yeah. <laughs> and then let's bring it up, let's tap it back. Just opening up the hips. So you don't have to do a full lunge, just tap back. Ooh, those are tight too, right? <laughs> there may be a, a, few, a few more groans now that we're eight years older. <laughs> and not sleeping. <laughs> right, and not sleeping. <laughs> That's what I always say about retro Amy. Hold it here. Let's do that world's greatest stretch. So take that hand down, reach it up, and just at your own pace, you can drop the knee, you can twist it through, whatever feels best for you. You can keep the knee down in the back. Yeah, retro Amy and retro Jack. Got a lot more sleep. A lot more sleep. Had so more jealous. energy. <laughs> so go ahead and step it up out of that. We'll switch our sides. Take it right here. Down, reach it up. Take it through. Down. The good news is, is that our daughters, or my daughter, her oldest, are besties too. Mm -hmm. So they're having a great time right now. We think. Who knows? <laughs> I think they are. And then if you can, take it back to that high plank. If that is not right for you, because Jack, I know your wrists are bothering you a little bit, stay on all fours and just take it to child's pose. Okay. And I'm gonna take it in that down dog to high plank. So you can just go child's pose. Just kind of stretching through your back. 
And we're gonna give you some modifications. Jack has a little bit of wrist pain, especially with plank type motions, which I know is super common. So when we get to our mat work, go ahead and bring it up. I'm gonna show you some good modifications. She's gonna show you rather. All right, tap it out and reach. All right, so here's what we got. We got three, well, we'll call it four, but our last circuit is all on the mat. We've got four quick circuits. The first one is probably the most burner of all of them, but we will get it done. Let's take it over your head. And again, everything builds. So we'll do one thing and then another thing, and then we'll put some things together. We'll add some intensity. Be where you are today. This is your workout. So you do you. Let's get some hamstrings up. Whew. All right, much better warm up than that. 2015 one, right? <laughs> the last one that I remixed like two weeks ago, there was literally no warm up. And I was like, what are you doing? No cool down. <laughs> I was like, no wonder it's 25 minutes. <laughs> Take it right here, cross it here. Whew. All right, so we're working with dumbbells, two dumbbells if you need to switch to one, which I might, because <laughs> I'm gonna go heavier and the little stretch right here. We're both gonna go heavy, but because of Jack's wrist pain, I'm gonna have her go lighter than me, which is not usually the case, even when you're pregnant. <laughs> All right, so shake it out, grab two dumbbells. We're gonna start with a little step out squat. Yeah, grab some water if you need it. So we're stepping out to the right. It's not a side lunge, it's a squat. Step out, dumbbells come down in the center. Push out of the stationary leg, keeping the shoulders back, keeping the core engaged. We got 30 seconds, then we'll take it into a bicep curl, then we'll put it together. To my right, your left, let's do it. Stepping it out, driving up and through. And we're gonna try to go slower than our 2015 selves. <laughs> Sitting just low. This workout is It totally, exactly. <laughs> Sitting low, driving up through that heel. And again, if that doesn't feel right with the weights, you can keep them to the side too. Whatever feels good for you and gives you the best form. Three, we got two, we got one. We're gonna go right into a bicep curl. So regular curl and down. Yep, so you can stagger your feet. That way that keeps us from arching in that back. Wrap that core. If it starts to get too heavy, you can of course alternate. You can keep your feet parallel if that feels good for you, just we sometimes get into that back. So making sure you find what's good for you. Whoo, my heart rate's already up. <laughs> so we have five seconds, then we're stepping out same side with the curl right here. So we're here, we're gonna curl. Join me, sit low and up. Take it down and up. Again, if you need to alternate with that curl you can. So we're gonna keep it here for 10 more seconds. Then you can keep it here or that moving leg, you can take it to a reverse lunge. You keep all of this, then add the lunge right here. So we're here, take it slow, drop it down, curl on the lunge. What's funny is my very first remix workout, Body Blast, I did something similar to this. And these workouts are like a year and a half apart. Oh. But I brought it back. Yeah. I have some favorites. Oh man, breathe. Take it here. Ha. Ah. Five seconds. Oh. Yes. Woo. Three, two, one. Ha. Ah. Give your hands Woo. a little break, right? Bend your knees to drop those down. Water if you need it. I'm gonna get some. In that old workout, we jumped right in. but. We're gonna give you a little breather. Remember, rest is part of the process. Before we get that other side. So remember what side you did it. My right, probably your left. We're gonna do a little plie squat. We're gonna add a press. We're gonna add some tries. Try with two dumbbells. If you need to switch to one, you can. Toes out. Here we go. Down and up. So you can either rest your weights right here on your sides of your legs. Sometimes that gives you support, or you can also have them low. If you'd rather take them low, you can also rack them. You do you. I know, right? Sometimes you have to just experiment and see. This cues me a little bit more for inner thighs and pelvic floor. Like, for some reason, it helps my body. All right, bring it in right here. We're gonna do a press up. Again, stagger your feet. Now, you can keep going like this. Keep those elbows in a bit or take it to one. 
which I might have to do. <laughs> so we're gonna take it here. Maybe I'll go with my 15. Ha! Right here. So one dumbbell or two. We got five more seconds and then we're keeping it up top into triceps. Three, two, hold at the top. You're going behind your head. So if you wanna switch to two, you won't, Jack, because you're super strong, but you can if you want to end stuck. I mean, that's really it, right? Just the triceps, yeah. Competitive, yeah, just the triceps. Then we'll breathe for a second, we'll put them all together. So keeping those elbows in, whether you have two or one, elbows close to your head, core engaged, and again, staggering your feet. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Relax for a second. All right, here's what it looks like. You can breathe, you can set your weights down. Oh yeah, see, I knew you'd want that fan, right? <laughs> you can yeah. tilt it up if you want. Is it not plugged in? Yeah, that's good. All right, so we're gonna put them all together. Plie, press, and tries. You can go one dumbbell or two dumbbells, up to you. 30 seconds is all we need. Zip up that core, stacking your rib cage over your pelvis, shoulders back, chest open. Let's do it. Here we go. Plie, press, and tries. Slow and controlled. Thinking about them all as separate parts, right? Behind the head. Two dumbbells or one. I'm so glad I'm here to show you the modification. <laughs> Just like back when I was pregnant. And probably back when you were pregnant. <laughs> Yes. Just a theme. <laughs> Five, four, four, three, two, one. All right, everybody breathe and relax. Guess what we got? That step out squat again. So shake them out. We're gonna take it to the other side, stepping it out. We're gonna do a hammer curl. We're gonna put them together. We're gonna put them together and add that optional lunge. So grab those weights. I'll go back to my twelves. We can do it. Stepping out to the other side. So our left, maybe your right. Whoo, in five, four, three, two. Step out squat. Sitting low, pressing up. So really dropping your hips, making sure that as you step, it's not just a step, right? You're actually getting your butt down, getting those weights down and pushing through that stationary leg. Sometimes this is hard because our muscle memory wants to do that side lunge, but we got that coming too, don't worry. <laughs> Sit low, five seconds. We got three, two, one, hammer curl. So palms are in this time. Stagger your feet, core engage. You can always alternate if you need to. And check in with your core right here. As we get tired, we start to come forward a little bit, right? Pulling those hip bones together, our rib cage together. Jack and I were just talking about this after pregnancies of, and then holding babies for years of how that pelvis wants to go forward. Let's put them together, here we go. Squat Ooh. it down, curl it up. We got 30 seconds here. Then we'll add that reverse lunge with your moving leg, if you want. Whoo, and breathe. Yes, uh, team, Whew. 10 to go, ha. Yes. keep it moving. We're gonna add that reverse lunge. Let's do it right here. So step out, squat, <laughs> take awesome. it down. Yeah, you take a breather, down. I mean, I did say add it and then I went to the squat, right? I bet everybody else at home did what you did. They said what I said. Down, Woo. breathe, 10 seconds. Woo. Yes, team. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Woo. Set them down. Ah. All right, team. One more time with that plie, that press with the tries, and then putting them together. One dumbbell, two dumbbells. You do what's best for you. We got 30, 30, and 30. I'm gonna start with two, then drop to one. Whew. Whew. My heart rate is way up. I don't yes. know about yours. <laughs> Getting that cardio in. Zip up the core, shoulders back. Let's go. Down in the plie. So super simple. Remember, you can always keep it back to basics. When we get to that compound, putting them together, 
You don't have to put them all together. You can separate them out, just like we're gonna do in the beginning here. Breathe. And down. Yes. 10 more seconds. Then we're going to that close press. Really think about squeezing up through those inner thighs, connecting with the pelvic floor, and into the core. Here we go. Weights up. Just press and down. And again, you can stagger it. One dumbbell right here, elbows in, or you're gonna have two. Whew. Right here. Up. 10 seconds. Then into our tries. Take your time. Five, four, three, two, triceps. Yep, you can give them a little break if you need to, or behind your head. Elbows in. Either way, we're trying to keep those elbows from going out to here. That is what our shoulders want to do. Keep them in so you're really getting elbow extension at the top. Yeah, you can switch your stagger. I know. 10 seconds. Then we're putting them together, which means that triceps get a break, right? Five, four, three. Take them out right here. Let's do it. Take it down. Press. Tries. Last 30. Hi. Like, I'm just gonna break. I guess we're not doing those. Well. Right? No. She we're just. That, I meant this is the tricep break. Oh, oh right. that's the tricep work. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I roll. Everything's a break. Ten uh, seconds. <sighs> Five. Four. four three. Two. One. Grab oh, some oh. water. <laughs> love it. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Remember, we're so much stronger. Our bodies have been through so much, and yours has too, whether it's pregnancy, whether it's just going through everything that we all go through in life. Your body is strong. Uh, yeah, going, getting through a pandemic. Your body is amazing. All right, so shake it out. Let me give you a little preview. We'll give ourselves a little bit more rest. If you want a little cardio mobility, you can add some little hamstrings. One heavy to medium dumbbell. We're gonna cross into that side lunge. We'll start this side. Side lunge, not a step out squat. Then we're gonna take it to a high pull. Now, if you want, you can sub in that snatch because I know people love it. But then when we put them together, we're gonna go high pull. Then we're gonna add a knee. So one dumbbell, left hand stepping to the right or the opposite. Let's do it just your side lunge. So cross it over, push it out. What I want you to think about is hanging out in that squat just for a split second so you can really shift your weight into that hip, right? That's when our muscle memory or a muscle wants to just get out of there quick, right? So hang out, push off, right? Hang out, push off. That's when we really get into those abductors. Here we go, take it here. So high pull, elbow comes up. So it's out to the side. Again, if you're somebody who loves a snatch, you can take it here. It's up to you. But when we put them together, we're gonna stick with the high pull or you can sub an upright row, up to you. Whew. Snatch is actually a little easier because <laughs> you get some power. 10 seconds, then we're going side lunge, high pull, three, two, one. Let's do it. Side lunge, high pull. And again, I still want you to hang out, hang out, push off. So you get the power from the legs to really bring it up. Whew. Hair in my mouth, down, and like if you would stop talking so much. Whoo! Low to high. You can add that knee if you want. Look at you already ahead of us. Doing it. Not yet. We have 30 more seconds. Now we add that knee. Oh my gosh. Woo. I know, we made it a little longer than that original. Uh, down, and up. Yes, you can. 15 seconds, drive into it. Whenever I wanted to go faster, I just say four. Right? We can count really slow, four. four. Three, two, one. Oh, oh man, that shoulder, right? Huh? Yes. All right, so hang out right there. Hang out right there. We're gonna take it, whatever side you're stepping to, 
we're gonna get a side knee. So let's keep that weight close. If your shoulders are really needing a break, keep it here. If you want a little more, you can go a little higher. But I really want you to think about oblique, core, a little bit of cardio as if, as if we needed it. 30 seconds. My right, your left. In three, two, one. Side knee, here. And really think about bringing the side in, right? So you want that contraction, that lateral flexion. If you want a little more arms, take them bigger. You wanna keep it close and just keep it core. You're here, soft bend in the knees, but not a plie. Don't worry. Yes. Right, five, four, three, two, and breathe. All right, catch your breath. We're taking another side, all right? So we got our side lunge. Remember, hang out, take it nice and slow, push out of it. We got our high puller snatch. Some of you might wanna do the snatch now that you know we have like a minute of high pull after that. Yeah. Then side lunge, high pull, side lunge, high pull, and knee. I think in the original workout, I just gave you the option, or we did like the last five seconds with the knee, we but didn't we definitely didn't go that. <laughs> All right, let's take it. Here we go, just your side lunge. Take it down. Push it out. So think about crossing that weight. And again, hang out in that hip. I know your body wants to push out quickly because it wants to get out of there. It's hard, but hang out and go. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay. Feel the difference? Just using you as my model, uh -huh. like normal, because my leg wanted to break. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds right here. Three, two, one. High pull right here, so bring it up and down. Elbow comes up, so you're just coming here. You don't have to do a rear delt raise, but if you want, you can do a snatch all the way through. I think you do. Power it up, give a little momentum. Yeah, you do. Girl, you know power. I think we overcomplicate the snatch, and we think that it's more than it is, but it's really just power a power pull. Three, two, Side lunge, high pull. Down, high pull. Just tapping in. <laughs> we don't have to add that knee yet. Okay. And if this really doesn't feel good for you, you can do an upright row like we've done before. You can keep just the side lunge or you can alternate between the two. 10 seconds, then we add that knee. Uh. Woo. Breathe, then guess what? Oh, we got a side knee. But then, here we go, knee. Side knee after this, and then we go to the mat. Yes, Ugh. bring it up. And up, yes. Down, and up. Power, drive out of that hip. It's the other reason we hang out there so we can really push out of it. 10 to go. Oh man, what was I thinking? I don't know. We got five, four, three, two, and breathe. Oh my gosh. Catch your breath. Woo. Woo. Yeah, you can grab a little sip. 30 second side knee. Then we are down on the mat. Four. Good. All right. Woo. Breathe into it. Side knee. Remember, you can keep it just a little side crunch. You can add a little more arms if you want. Remember, this is it. Then we're down on the mat. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Side. And here, just one side. Again, you can have your hands higher. You can even do a little circular motion, but I want you to really contract lateral flexion in those abs. We got more core coming. Yes, here we go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, and one. Ha, ha, ha. Catch your breath, team. Grab some water, yes. It's like, a good job, Jack. <laughs> grab your mat, grab some water. So go ahead and grab a mat. If you guys don't remember, Jack on congr congratulates herself when she needs a little boost, which I love. I told all my clients that and they started doing that. That's what our kids do, like they clap for themselves yeah. all the time. All right, grab some water, meet me on the mat with your dumbbells. All right, team, so Jack is having some wrist pain, pain, pains. 
Often, <laughs> some page. Often called mommy thumb. Sometimes it's a little bit of that carpal tunnel from holding babies, feeding babies. So she is going to adjust when we come to a plank position by putting her, the palm of her hand up on some towels. This is a great modification. The first thing we're gonna start with is a row, so I'm actually gonna have you do it standing. Oh, okay. So we are gonna come into a plank row position. If you want, you can do it standing with Jack, especially if, you're, if you have some wrist pain or if you're in that pregnancy period, you're not, but you'll do the modification. So we're coming into that high row. You can be on your knees here, knees here, or here, just the row. We're taking it here to here. We got 30 seconds. I want you to wrap that core either way. Hinge position or plank position. Bring the elbows up and squeeze. We're doing it in three, two, one. Here we go. So we're here to here. So if you're on the ground, you're alternating. If you're with Jack, you're doing it together. Either way, we're keeping the core tight. If you need to be on the knees, you can. Or if you need to alternate from up top, that's a good option too. Just elbows in, hinge forward. Bring those elbows up by your side. Squeeze. We got 10 seconds to go. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm sure this is where in the original video I was modifying a lot. <laughs> All right, so we're coming on our elbows into a plank, so this should be good for you. Yep. Start here. And then if you want, we're gonna bring the knee in, little lift, so it's a little knee in pipe. So you gotta lift the hips to bring it in, knee coming in. If you're modifying, especially for pregnancy, we're gonna take it opposite arm, opposite leg from the elbow. So it's a bird dog from the elbows. Otherwise, join us on the mat, elbows in, knee in pipe. Here we go, little lift, and down. Lift, and down. So you really have to think about creating space, right? Just like that. So it's a little pike, little lift of the hips, creating that space for the core. If you need to modify, you also can come to a standing position. Standing crunch, five seconds. Breathe, we got three, two, one, and relax. All right, we're gonna go back to that plank row. So Jack, you can come back up under your feet. You can keep the regular row. If you're down here with me, here's what we're gonna add if you want. Little rotation, oh man, those are heavy. All right, I'm gonna do it though. <laughs> so plank rotation or standing row. Three, two, one, here we go. Up, Woo! yes! yes! This is a can. sign that I need to do my 15s more often. I always say that, <laughs> and then I don't do it. Ooh, new gym, Ooh, new weights. I'm gonna get super strong here. Keep it going. Yep, flat back. And if you wanna just keep your row here, that's an option too. You can also get the rotation just by pulling up to here, right? You don't have to do the full oh extension, gosh. right? We got five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Stretch it back. Ah, uh, and then for some reason, this is like plank after plank after plank. We're gonna go to a plank jack. So you're on your elbows for Jack. You can tap it out if you want, or you can jump it out. If you want a modification, you can also do a standing Jack. Let's take it here for 30. Here we go. Out and in. Woo, it's a little harder on these mats. But again, you can do a tap. You can also be standing, low impact or high. But just like Jack is doing, stay lifted in that core. Wrap everything in. We got 10 seconds to go, and then guess what? No more planks. We yes! got five, yes, four, three, two, one. Relax, stretch it back. All right, team, how about we come on our back into a chest press? That sounds dreamy, right? All right, so you can be on your chest press, regular with your feet down, Feet up in tabletop. You can have your feet straight up. I think that's what we had you do in the original because we're gonna do a leg lower sec second and then we'll put them together. So regular press, find what's comfortable for you. Tuck that pelvis, so a little tilt. Wrap that core, make sure that rib cage is stacked over your hips in three, two, one. Regular press up and in. So take your time, 
pressing up to the ceiling and then bringing those weights in. If you need to alternate, you can, or take it to just one straight up. All the way up and down. If you need to modify by putting those hips up in a bridge, especially if you are in that prenatal period, take it there. Otherwise, we're here. Five, four, three, two. All right, take those feet up. You're gonna lower them down for two, up for two. Just holding the weights up if that feels good for you. Modification is a bridge. You're gonna lift and lower. Up and down. So either one, taking your time, lowering slowly and only going as low as you can keep that good form. If you start to feel too much of an arch in that back, keep them a little higher. That works too. Should we put them together, Jack? Oh, yeah. Yes, here we go. Slowly down for two. Take it up for two, yes. Down, two, up. Whoo! This is another thing I noticed. Amy in the 2020s will spread the core out a lot more throughout the workout. Uh -huh. Retro Amy did a lot of core together at the end. You got 10 seconds. Whoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Uh -huh. Rest those weights down to the side. We are already over our 30 minutes from our 30 minute time now. <laughs> but that's okay. Because we're stronger now. We're stronger now. And we're taking more breaks. This last round is only gonna be 20 seconds. So we're gonna start with a starfish. So you can either just do a little crunch here, just barely lifting, or come all the way up. It's 20 seconds. If you're modifying, keep your shoulders on the ground and just do the legs. Three, two, one, 20 seconds. Take your time really pulling in with that deep core. Remember, if you just need to do a little crunch, that works, or modification, bridge or here. Just a little stretch break. That works too. Whoo, only 20. Let's get it done. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Hug those knees in, grab those weights again. This time we're gonna take our press. Just elbows in, straight up and down. 20 seconds, then we're adding a little bicycle. You can tell it was the end of the workout because we didn't do the bicycle by itself. So close grip press for 20. Then we add a bicycle in three, two, one. Elbows straight up, elbows come right down by your side. Straight up and down. If you need to be in the bridge, be in the bridge. Straight up and down. You know what we didn't do in this workout was any side planks. But don't worry, we're not gonna add them again. <laughs> All right, if you want, add that little bicycle. One leg out, one leg in. Or a little toe tap. Nope, as long as you can keep the movement controlled, it doesn't really matter. We got five, four, three, two. Relax them down. Come into a seated position. Oh. All right, team, so we're gonna do a little seated punch. So 20 seconds, a little stretch break, and then what we did in the original workout, which I'm not gonna do, is then we added our dumbbells. <laughs> you can do it if you want. <laughs> All right, so we're here. Here is one and then the other. If you need to modify, just take it to a seated position. You don't have to go fast. We're just getting that little torso rotation. You decide how far you wanna go back. Just keep everything pulled in. Five, four, three, two, one. If you want, Jack's gonna demonstrate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't do it with the, I can probably do it with the 12s. Here to here, you can add the weights or not add the weights. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at you, so strong. <laughs> here, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try yeah, it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> oh, I thought your feet were off the mat. I think they back. were off the mat. See, this is the problem, is we will compete. I know, right? <laughs> spoiler, <laughs> spoiler, we're both competitive, <laughs> but especially this one. <laughs> Good, relax. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, last two moves of the workout. Well, but we might add a bonus move because it's a Monday. All right, team, modification. You can just do a bird dog. Otherwise, we're gonna do a little Superman lift. Here's what we got. We got 15 seconds up and down, 15 seconds hold. Modification, of course, is that bird dog. But well, let's do it. Let's strengthen our back. Three, two, one. Hi. <laughs> 
I used to train, well, these guys know David and Jeannie, my clients that used to train together, and they would do this, they'd be like, you can do it! <laughs> we got it! <laughs> you can do it, girl, we got it! Ooh, okay, uh, hold it in here, hold it in uh, here, hold it in here. Let's bring our hands together, feet together, oh, tight now. Oh, I'm so tight, and my oh. bag here. 10 seconds. Oh. You got it, Jack! I got it, you got it, baby! <laughs> Cheer each other on, three, two, oh. one. Oh, man, I'm tight back there, stretch it out. All right, team. <sighs> That's the whole workout from 2015. We only met, went like six minutes longer than normal. But it's a Monday, and you know what that means. I think, we get, I think we get time for a bonus move. Let's get the mat out of the way. How about we don't involve any planks? Yes, please. I asked Jack what we should do for the bonus move, so you can thank her. I'm just telling them so they can be mad at you. Um, you can thank her for this. But she did mention, and this is true, we did not have any transverse movement anything in the transverse plane. So we're gonna take it to a curtsy. If you wanna pick up your pace and think of it as more of a skater, you can. Twist to the hip and either bring it to your chest or chop. Then other side, twist, chest or chop. And then we're going triceps. All right, makes sense, makes sense. We got 60 seconds. So plan accordingly, let's get it done. In three, two, let's go to the right. Here we go. Otherwise, we were gonna, run into each other. So you can keep it just like this. If you feel like you want to do a little more of a skater hop without the chop, just bringing it in. Ooh, balance. Oh my gosh, we're not even doing the triceps. I was wondering, I thought we were just separating. Okay, keep it going. Triceps. <laughs> we're not cutting that because we don't have time. We're not gonna do a pickup. Up, tries, you're right. Curtsy, up. Tries, halfway there. Breathe, down, up, ha. I bet everybody at home was doing it the right way. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> it reminds me, when Maya goes to her soccer games, her best friend, one of her best friends is on her team. Uh -huh. And the coach is always like, it's not recess. That's us, Kurt's like, it's not recess, Amy and Jack. Last one. Relax. Oh. Ah, we did it. We did, we did it. it. Take it down. Woo. Ah, exactly the same as 2015. Yes. Woo. Shake it out. Ah. I really do think that we went longer. The 30 seconds was longer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I think I was doing back in the day when I was used to, let's take it up and big stretch over. I was used to teaching, and I explained this through some of the other remix workouts. Everything was on the eight count when I first started teaching. So when I brought that into videos, a lot of times it was eight reps or 12 reps or, you know, by four, right? And instead of using a timer, which is a great idea, <laughs> we did it by counts. So some of them, I think sometimes things went a little longer, but for the most part, they were maybe 15 or 20 seconds. Yeah. And then today we did straight up 30. That's a lot, you guys. Let's get a little hamstring stretch. Oh, leaning. <laughs> Can you tell we're older now? <laughs> uh, yes, totally. Uh, well, I am in my 40s. You're not, but. <laughs> Other side, but nobody can tell, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're wondering, Jack and I will still be doing this in our 80s and 90s. That is true. And I actually, for the, to clarify, we'll always be 26. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Let's take it right here. Fun fact, our, what was it when I first moved here, we had a joint birthday party, 20, 23 and 24 maybe? Is that what we said? And that's, that's when Kurt asked me to go on a date, remember? Oh, and the rest is history. Let's have it a little quad stretch. Hand on the wall, just gently, because this is our newly painted wall. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's me. I'm reminding myself. Um, I stuck my sweaty hand around. It's OK. Sorry, it's OK. Kids are going to do it. The other one is so dirty. Uh, if you can't get to here, just drop it down. Thanks for coming back for this one. Oh, you yeah, know, it's fun. People are going to ask for you back all the time now, so <laughs> get ready. But we got all the space now. I know. <laughs> we can do it. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for being here and joining us for this remix. We wanna know in the comments, how did you feel? If you've done it before, which most of you have, how did it feel compared to the first time or the last time? 
Hopefully you're feeling stronger. Hopefully you were still challenged. Remember, if it felt hard, because you were working hard, that's what it is. Let's get a little wrist stretch. Uh, so we really didn't even get to demonstrate what yeah. you're doing, but don't worry, we'll make sure that that makes it here on YouTube. Leave us a comment, make sure you like this video, and please don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends, spread the word, and of course, check us out on the Body Fit Athletic Club and the Body Fit by Amy app. Thank you so much for being here, Jack. Thank you for being yes, here. Thank you for having me. The dream team is back. Let's get one <laughs> big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your remix full body dumbbell workout. Great job, everybody. <laughs> And as always, get more of a stretch if you need it. One big deep breath in. And out. And that was your full body dumbbell workout. Great job, everybody.